Hello, I'm Aralica Dekova, and today I'll present to you on the continuity of HIV testing in the community in the context of COVID-19 lockdown. First, to give some statistics on HIV in Eswatini. Eswatini is one of six countries that has achieved all three 90s in the HIV care cascade. The HIV prevalence for ages 15 to 49 is 27%. And to break that down further, the graph on the right shows the proportion of people living with HIV who are unaware of their HIV positive status. So for example, we have the 15 to 24 year olds in the country who are living with HIV and over a third of them are not aware that they're living with HIV. One rung down, we have the males who are living with HIV and about one in four are also unaware of their HIV positive status. And this gives some of the rationale for the introduction of HIV self-testing to fill these testing and status knowledge gap. Oral HIV self-tests were piloted in 2017, which is the same year that the Self-Test Africa STAR initiative began in Eswatini. Scale up of the self-test program in Eswatini uh, up to national scale uh, was done in 2019 with PEPFAR support and we received guidance from the National AIDS Program who to distribute to, how to distribute to them and where to distribute in the community as well as in health facilities. So for PSI Eswatini, we support the Ministry of Health in community testing, community ART initiation, HIV prevention interventions and some NCD interventions too. A brief overview of the COVID-19 situation in Eswatini on the 29th of June was that there were 795 confirmed cases, cumulative, almost half of which uh, had recovered and with a 0.01% mortality rate. On the 28th of March, a national lockdown was announced, meaning non-essential businesses were closed. There was a work from home order in place and some food stores, pharmacies and health facilities were to remain open. What that also meant was that community HIV testing services were paused. Thus, the previous uh, HIV self-testing distribution channels were now inaccessible to us and as well as fewer clients accessing health facilities uh, in this time. The recommendation we got from the Ministry of Health a couple of days after the national lockdown was announced was that we were to continue HIV self-test distribution, but using only pharmacies and shops as the channels of distribution. Just a brief snapshot of what our HIV self-test program looked like before the lockdown and what it looked like after the lockdown, before we were using the HIV self-tests to supplement our index contact tracing modality in the community. And right after the lockdown, we pivoted to distribute primary and secondary kits at uh, pharmacies and food stores, as was recommended by the Ministry of Health. Just a bit of a visual on what that looked like. There we have my colleagues who are distributing HIV self-tests in front of a food store. We have the HIV self-testing sign, as well as hand sanitizer, surface disinfectant, linkage flyers as well as the HIV self-test there in front of a large food store, in front of a pharmacy, and servicing a client. To share some of the numbers from this new modality of distributing oral HIV self-test kits in front of pharmacies and stores, we distributed 18,564 primary HIV self-test kits and with about a 50-50 split between males and females. With a graph on the right, we are highlighting the testing frequency. So self-reported, never having tested for HIV in the past. And while we do expect a downward trend as the ages increase, it is still somewhat surprising to see uh, the proportions that we see over there, like one in five males above age 50 self-reporting to never have tested for HIV in the past. A somewhat similar graph to the one in the previous slide, but a further analysis of those clients who self-reported to never have tested for HIV in the past, more than half of them were males, which aligns well with the goals of the HIV self-testing program in Eswatini. And again, highlighting that proportion 
of the clients ages 40 and above who had never tested for HIV in the past. And this is a surprising figure because in a country where there's a generalized epidemic and one can access an HIV test for free and in many different locations, both in communities and in health facilities, uh, they are clients who are ages 40 and above who just have never tested for HIV in the past. At the point of distribution, we ask clients for their consent to be followed up by telephone. And what we found was a 3% self-reported reactivity rate. This is half of the reactivity rate we normally find in our index testing modality where we target the associates of HIV positive clients. In conclusion, community HIV testing services are an important component of testing uh, for HIV and Eswatini in general. There was a rapid adaptation by our government and by HTS partners to continue the HIV testing services. Self-testing is ideal for physical distancing, and one could argue that this modality could be playing a role in normalizing accessing a test or decreasing the testing-related stigma. And certainly, it's increasing the demand for the HIV self-tests. We are also likely to be reaching clients we normally wouldn't, and this is from uh, anecdotal feedback from my colleagues on the ground, but normally we would offer our testing services at sports events, uh, some workplaces or tertiary institutions, and it seems like the mix of clients uh, in front of pharmacies and shops are slightly different to the ones who we reach through our typical targeted means. I would like to acknowledge the Eswatini National AIDS Program, donors, PSI, as well as STAR. Thank you.